New at 6 o'clock, some problems with the service that a lot of people use, yard waste pickup. Homeowners are telling us those problems have resulted in delayed and unpredictable service in their neighborhoods. KPRC 2 Sabira Rayford live in southwest Houston. Sabira, homeowner, homeowners are confused about all of this. Keith, and these delays in pickup, they're impacting many homeowners in Houston. And like this yard waste right here, questions are piling up. On this warm fall day, we took out all the dead grass and weeds. We just hope Bartel digging into a new project. God willing, if the seeds take kind of a, a wildflower meadow. A big project means big cleanup. So we had a lot of dead grass to get rid of. And she says when it was time for pickup, service was unpredictable. I don't like leaving my trash cans out for like a whole week waiting for them to get picked up. We went to Houston's Solid Waste Management Department for answers. The driver shortage is affecting our ability to provide timely service. Mark Wolfalk is the director. If your yard waste uh, service is traditionally on a Monday, um, because of the delays that are that we're encountering with with the absence and shortages of employees, that collection may occur on Wednesday or Saturday. He says 11 key people recently left and they're carrying around a 15 percent vacancy rate. The message is they're hiring. We're actually in the process of establishing some CDL training, uh, part of our recruitment programs. They're also offering $3,000 signing bonuses. Wolf Falcon says they will continue to pick up yard waste when they can, and they consistently post their schedule and updates on Facebook. It'd be nice if you could count on it being on time or, yeah. you know, within a day. And the director says heavy trash pickup has improved, so he says that is working right now and is on schedule. He says as for people who need to drop off yard waste, you can do that at the six depositories spread throughout the city. Reporting live in southwest Houston, Sabir Rayford, KPRC 2 News. Sabir, thank you.